As I'm saying this, an asteroid the size of the Statue of Liberty whizzed by our humble little planet. It happens all the time. Earth has and will again be struck by large objects from space. Not to sound too dramatic, but it will definitely happen again. These events are destructive. Just see what Hollywood has done with the idea. So do we have a plan? And who is in charge of protecting life on Earth as we know it? I'm Lindley Johnson. I'm the planetary defense officer at NASA. Lindley's goals are simple. To find all the asteroids before they find us. The plan. So what exactly do they do? Are their systems good enough to prevent anything? And do they have everything they need? I promise I have those answers for you, but let's back up for a second. The Earth being hit by objects in space happens more often than you think. In fact, a report published in the Journal of Geophysical Research suggests that Earth is being peppered by about 60 metric tons of dust every single day. Now, larger objects that wouldn't just burn up in the upper atmosphere hit the Earth less often. These include comets, which is rock combined with ice that originated way out in the Kuiper Belt, asteroids, which are sometimes flung in towards Earth from the belt between Mars and Jupiter, and other space rocks smaller than asteroids called meteoroids. NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office is responsible for handling all of these threats, alerting the proper channels, and recommending action. The program started out in 98, uh, searching for one kilometer and larger uh, asteroids. They chose that size as a starting point because, well... Because we knew an asteroid of that size or larger would uh, probably have global consequences. You have crop failures and the uh, biosphere uh, begins to, to degrade. So let's avoid that. Congress first funded the program following detailed reports about the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs, as well as a 1.1 mile long comet that crashed into Jupiter in the summer of 1994. The size threshold has changed since then. The office is now looking for objects 460 feet and larger. But again, important because... But the Planetary Defense Office has some help. The night sky is constantly being scanned by everyone around the world from large space agencies to amateurs with telescopes. This information is then delivered to the Minor Planet Center in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Minor Planet Center takes all those observations and creates the orbit uh, that the object is in. And then they can propagate that orbit forward to determine if the object is going to be an impact hazard any time in the near future. The Minor Planet Center are the, are the first to know, so to speak and then that uh, information immediately is uh, uh, sent to uh, us here at NASA headquarters. And in fact, uh, if there is any object that even looks like it might come close, uh, I get an alert uh, on my smartphone. If there's an issue, the Planetary Defense Coordination Office and Lindley Johnson step in into action. Most of the time, these things are too small to do much, considering the object would likely burn up before touching down. However, if we find an object that has a 1% or larger probability of impact in the Earth, uh, that we would send that alert to uh, the White House and also to uh, uh, Congress. So is there anything headed our way? Well, the ones we've so found so far, there are none that have a large potential for impact in the Earth. Of course, uh, over time, uh, the uncertainties uh, in the orbit build up as you propagate the orbit forward. Uh, and so uh, there is a, a small potential for a, a few of them to be a collision hazard uh, uh, in the future out into the 21 and 2200s. And they do find quite a few objects. We find about 2,000 uh, objects a year. Our total number of near-Earth uh, asteroids uh, is now up to a little over 18,000. They're tasked with quite a bit. Do they have everything they need to get it all done? Uh, so to accomplish uh, our current goal, to find those down to 140 meters in size, uh, we really need uh, more capability than, than we've got right now. I wish that was a different answer. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you liked what you saw, please like, subscribe. We'd love to hear from you in the comments section below. Uh, we're making a lot of really fun things here at Cheddar, and we hope you stick around. Thanks again.